10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Oh, sorry. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Hope at least there were some good pictures that we can use for marketing the next conference. <laughs> Guys, you want to come up here? You want to pick your own, on your own questions or do you want, want me to pick? There's a lot of them up there. And they will, of course, uh, they promise to email all you guys that won't have their questions answered here later. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, I'll start. Are you ready, people? This is from, uh, I think it's from Petter and Anders. Andrea. Okay, thank you. Lena, what are you doing to spread Equalisters internationally? Oh, thank you for that question. I'm doing what I do here right now. I talk about us, about what we do, not about me and what I do, because we're now 50,000 people in Sweden. And I get to travel sometimes around the world. And right now we have projects in China, in India, in Norway, in Finland, about a startup in UK, and perhaps even in New York quite sh soon. And we started in Italy like one week before Berlusconi left his position. So we might have affected that. I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hopefully, huh? Okay, great. Okay, here is from Anna Lachen. I'm not sure. Actually, yeah, it's for Lena. Uh, I'm going to have to translate this. Uh, what is your next justice assignment? Well, my, my goal is actually to, to how do you say, uh, shut down equalisters, Rättvisa Förmedlingen. The goal is for us not to be needed, of course. Because when people have used us, they don't need us anymore. Mm. They've learned to find people themselves and they learn that the composition of whatever they're doing gets better if they're not using only one eye. So my goal is that 2020 we will not be doing this anymore. Okay, so 2020. Yes. That's the goal. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Hopefully we've managed to get better before then, huh? Okay. Um, Annika, Camilla, Katrin, maybe. <coughs> I said right neatly. Okay, um, <laughs> does the society have a responsibility to organize or is it up to the individual? Maybe my sin. Well, I mean, that, that, that's a big question, of course, uh, but I think that uh, using the tools that we know and the knowledge that we have, we all have a responsibility. That, that's why I'm here, because I know technology and I think that the world needs to be a, a bit better. So I'm doing what I can, at least, to, to make it so. And I mean, individuals, we are the society. Companies are too. Government is. We all are part of the society, so everyone needs to ship in. So don't hide behind something. All right, good. Pick another one here. Uh, this is uh, anonymous. Might be exciting then. <laughs> uh, what can we do beyond talent maybe our kids grow up s so entrenched in digital media that they don't realize uh, that they're part of a non surveillance state or that hmm. anybody knows who wrote it? yeah explain please The question is, in short, our kids are growing up in a surveilled, surveillance form of world. And can we teach them or explain to them that there is another alternative, actually? Pretty much? And how? Mm -hmm. I mean, fr first of all, I'm not sure that the administrator of Grokla is really a he. Yeah. Uh, but, but then again, I mean, it's, it's a fact that we, that we live in a society that's really surveilled, over-surveilled maybe, uh, and, and that's a fact. I, I think it's really hard to revert uh, innovation and uh, re revert uh, 
development, social development. What we need to do, however, however, is to not accept things as they are, but try to question them as much as possible. And that's not only about surveillance, of course. It's about the concept of society or, or politics and uh, overall. And that, that we need to train our, our kids to question more things, I think. And the fantastic thing about doing that on digital media is that you're not no longer constrained by these demographical cages when it comes to age, uh, gender, background, status, income, etc. You can connect and you can learn stuff anyway. And that is really, really hopeful. Okay, good. This is a really basic question that I think is good. It's from uh, Kalle Sjöström. I want to be like you guys, <laughs> oh. but I have to pay my rent and I have to get food. How do I do it? I mean, you, you can actually do a lot of things without getting paid for it. That, that's the basics. I mean, I'm lucky that I, I'm getting paid for doing kind of the stuff that I want to do with changing the world, mm. but I can tweak it a bit. But so get hired at the university. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, okay. uh, but still, I, I did... The, the things that I did before I got an internet, became an internet researcher was like 10 years of freeloading on, on people, on my, on my ordinary job, trying to make money to sur uh, survive, but also make time to do good stuff. And I think that's possible for all of us. I mean, it, it's not that hard. Really. And, yeah, I, I earned a lot of money before I started Equalisters, that was mailing in. And I had six months where my mom helped me with, with the rent. And I had this plan that if it hadn't sort of made a change that I could feel within those months, I would quit it and I would go back to working. And after six months, I had enough attention and branding or the need for us was big enough for us to hire people. And then it's a matter of uh, seeking funding because I have never been really into uh, charging for our services since it's... 50,000 people's common knowledge that we then would be selling or whatever. So that doesn't feel right and it isn't right. So we want to keep it free. But then besides being the founder of this, I earned a whole lot of money by working as a PR consultant. So stick one foot in there and you will be set for life. Yeah, but I mean, also we need to remind, remember that the technology make it, makes it possible to change big things with small amount of, of work. So if, if a lot of people do uh, just a tiny, tiny bit, a lot of things can happen. Yeah, and the idea doesn't cost you anything to come up with. And then if other people like the idea, they want to have tools to participate. So the lists that are made on our fa Facebook page, we crowdsource people who want to help a bit more than just adding names. And they are in a group of list makers. And they Google these persons. They put all their in, like the, the information that is relevant. And they copy, paste, and etc. And they fill the web page with all of that information. I did that myself for about three weeks. And then we were doing it all, everyone together. So, I mean, you don't have to be doing everything. Come up with one idea and then make sure you find the ones who want to share it with you. Last question. I'm going to pose it. It's a follow-up on this one, actually. This is the make it, ha make it happen track and the session change making. So what is it 2013? What, what's that? If your advice to these guys out there, what's the first step to change making the year 2013? Um, in my territory, at least, uh, one step would be to question all kinds of filters when it comes to information. All kinds. Uh, mine would be not to accept things as they are. Uh, imagine a world that is different. And that is really, really hard. Trying to imagine something that is not the way you've seen everything being all your life. But once you start, once you take off your small glasses, you will see the world in a bigger scheme. And that's good. So start challenging your mindset. Thank you. Thank you. Pack, pack. <laughs>